Let me introduce you to today's bad boy called Proximal Policy Optimization. Now, as confusing and complex it sounds, let me give you a very goofy example right here, okay? Imagine a six months old baby, or a matter of fact, two years old baby, doesn't matter, you know? If this baby smacks your ass and you give it a lollipop immediately afterwards, Aww. the baby's gonna be like, hmm, this is interesting. Now, if you keep rewarding the baby with a lollipop every time he smacks your ass after two weeks, oh boy, you're gonna be waking up not to the sounds of birds, but to the sounds of your ass being smacked. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is precisely how our bad boy PPO works. To reinforce an action, you give it a reward. However, to discourage an action, you give the AI a penalty, aka smack its ass. Alright guys, now it's time to make the ragdoll. Now, the boring part of actually making the ragdoll, I won't bother you with it, but rather... Don't y'all dare disrespect my boy Garfield Jensen. My boy is an absolute specimen of a human body. Our ragdoll has 16 body parts. Pretty standard ragdoll, nothing crazy. Let's see if this actually works. Everything does seem fine, surprisingly. Let me just, uh... <laughs> Everything is definitely fine. I was just ensuring the joints are working fine. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the most fun part. Artificial intelligence! Now for this part of the video, I will have to take you behind the scenes. Ooh, lots of cool stuff going on here. You can see uh, Mr. Garfield is chilling. Mm, very nice, very distinguished. Now on the left, you can see all the individual body parts, the chest, the hands. This section right here is where all the AI fun happens. It's called the behavior parameters of the AI. Now I know it looks a bit daunting and complex. Don't worry, I got you. Now ladies and gentlemen, we need to know the AI's observations, the actions the AI can take, and the rewarding mechanism. For the inputs, the AI can know whether each and every single body part is touching the ground or not. The velocities, positions, and rotations of every single body part are also added as an observation. For actions, the AI can control every single body part including its rotation and position. Now of course, the joints of the AI cannot just rotate wherever they want, they have a certain degree of limitation to imitate the human body. Now for the rewarding mechanism, this is where things get a little interesting. You see, in this simulation, the mission of our AI is to reach the target. The the green cube. The cube will be randomly spawned in different locations around the platform. To ensure generalization, the rotation of Garfield's body is also shuffled at the start of each episode. All this shuffling and random placement of target is to ensure that the AI ragdoll is exposed to as many different circumstances as possible and the resulting trained model is intelligent and resilient. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the AI is rewarded for two things specifically facing the target and maintaining the desired velocity. The desired velocity is randomly selected at the start of each episode. This is to make sure that the AI learns to walk at different speeds and not just overfit to one particular speed. You guys remember the behavior parameters? Now it should make more sense. The vector observation space size is basically all the observations we just spoke about. So the rotation of the arms, legs, basic body awareness in humans of course is more subconscious in AI we just have to code it in all the observations add up to 243 for the actions as we spoke about the AI can control the rotation and position of its arms and different body parts with certain degree of limitations all those actions add up to 39 alright guys now that everything is set up it's time to run our first training session let's get started
Excuse me, what the actual? So apparently, Mr. Garfield thinks that falling on the ground and having seizures is the best way to earn rewards and reach the target. I think what's going on here is uh, kind of interesting. You see, we told the AI what to do. We are giving it a positive reward for facing the target and maintaining a velocity. What we haven't done is given the AI a penalty. And that is precisely what we are going to do now. Any body part, including the hips and above, so essentially the upper body, when it touches the ground, we're going to now penalize the AI and reset the episode. This should, in theory, force the AI to use its legs. Round 2 of training, let's go! I told you guys not to disrespect my boy Garfield. Just just watch him go. Look at all those nice and clean steps he's taking. Absolutely magnificent. Now Garfield is our chubby version of the ragdoll. Now it's time for more forbidden versions. Presenting you... Look at this dude. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> so sorry okay i i'm so sorry for taking away your legs i just had to do it for research purposes but hey i'm gonna make up to you okay i'm gonna give you a really really nice name i'm gonna call you barnacles jr so unlike garfield barnacle jr is uh not given any kind of penalties i mean we took away his legs that should be enough of a penalty so barnacles can use his hands hips head anything to get to the target the reason is the reason is and and this is a secret which i've been hiding for so long we have garfield now we have barnacles jr and after barnacles jr trains we're gonna have one final ragdoll variation and then and then we're gonna throw all three of these into a final race and we're gonna see who's gonna win so ladies and gentlemen hold your horses for now we're gonna train barnacles i'm gonna meet you once the training is done here we go Go. Really, really interesting strategy Mr. Barnacles has resorted to here. Looks like he is sort of swaying from one side to another. His arms getting compressed on one side, which is generating leverage, and then allowing him to push to the other side, and then he's sort of repeating this action. So guys, if you are kidnapped and your legs are tied together, this is the motion you should opt to. Now keep in mind, this might sound funny, but this action is coming from 
from an AI and the sole purpose of this AI is to maintain a velocity and to get to the green cube. So if your legs are tied and you are kidnapped and you gotta reach the door, this is the action you have to resort to. Sounds funny but hey, it's coming from an AI, you know? Alright guys, now it's time for the final contestant of our race. Let me introduce you to Mr. Twix. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing at this point, okay? Um, Twix, please don't copyright this video, okay? This is only for experimentational purposes. Okay, this is, this is getting absolutely ridiculous now. But hey, this is our third contestant and it's time to train Mr. Twix for the final race. Guys, now we're gonna train Twix, I'm gonna speed it up and right after the training, we're gonna go straight into the race. No more talking, straight into the real thing. So let's train Mr. Twix and I'll see you in the racetracks. Off to a great start here and Barnacles is already left behind but it's okay, it's okay. Garfield and Mr. Twix are going head to head and Garfield looks to be struggling and he is down and Mr. Twix, who the fuck told you guys to respawn? Anyways, anyways, Garfield, wait, Barnacles is on the way of Garfield, uh, excuse me? Alright, and while Barnacles is busy pleasing himself, Twix is making it to the end, and there you go, we have our winner for today, guys, which is Mr. Twix. Hey guys, hope you liked the video, and uh, this is the end of the video, what should I say? Um, subscribe, <laughs> I guess like the video. And uh, follow me on Twitter because I'm planning to absolutely shit post on Twitter. You know, memes behind the scenes. You guys are absolute legends. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. <laughs>